I have a Roku Premiere here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing, right out of the box, we get a HDMI cable. We get a power cable. We have a wall adapter here. We have the Roku streaming player here. Of course, you get the remotes with two batteries and you get the quick start guide and you get a adhesive here as well. And I'll show you how to use this adhesive if you want to um, go ahead and use this later, okay? So looking at the Roku player itself, you can see back here, this is where you would put the adhesive if you want to use it. And you can see we have several buttons here. We have a reset button. We have the micro USB power cable and the HDMI cable or HDMI port there. First thing is, let's go ahead and connect the HDMI cable into the player right there. Now grab the power cable and the micro USB part. We're going to plug that into the player here as well. Now the next thing is go ahead and grab the other side of your HDMI cable and plug that to the HDMI port in the back of your TV. If your TV supports 4K, you want to make sure that you plug it into the HDMI that supports 2.2. Okay, so HDMI, I'm going to go ahead and put this one on this one here. Now for the power cable, you have an option. If you have an open USB port, you can go ahead and plug that into here. The thing is, if you plug it into there and you have a red light on your player, then your USB port is not providing enough power and you will have to use the included um, wall adapter here and plug that in and plug that into a wall outlet. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and I should have no problem with mine here. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug the power into the USB port in the back of my TV. Now go ahead and turn your TV on and you need to be on the right HDMI port. So for instance, I already know mine is on HDMI 1, but basically you want to go to your TV remote and you want to go to the correct HDMI uh, port, okay? So you want to go to like, go to your remote and find like an input or a source button, or you can just look on your TV. Like mine would be input right here and I'll click on that. And I can see HDMI 1 is the one that I want. Next thing is go ahead and grab your remote. You want to pop the back plate off. You want to insert the two batteries in the correct way. Put those in there. And as soon as you put them in there, it should pair automatically. Yeah. Make sure that your Roku player, you can see mine is right here, okay? Now, really quickly about the adhesive. And this is an option here, okay? So basically what you can do is you can put this adhesive on here. And then once that's on there, you can go ahead and you can attach it to the bottom of your TV, you know, somewhere right here, or you can even go to the side over here, or you can even go somewhere on the top. Now let's get started. Go ahead and choose the language you want, then go ahead and click over to the right. We're going to go ahead and hook this up to my home Wi-Fi network here, which is right there. Let me put my password in. Once you put your password, you want to go down, highlight, connect. Click on OK on the remotes and let this connect. OK, looks good. Now your player will get the latest software update. So go ahead and click on OK and let it the update software proceed. Once this update is done, it will restart. It's booting back up now. Auto detect display type. Go ahead and click on OK on your remotes. And I'm going to go with go with automatic. Display type, uh, my screen looks good here. Now we're gonna to have to activate our uh, Roku. And of course, this is all free, okay? So if you already have an account, you just go down to enter your email address. If you don't have an account, go to www.roku.com, sign up for account, remember that uh, your sign-in email and password, and then come back here and enter your email address in here. Once you put in your email, that's linked to your Roku account, highlight continue. Click on OK. Now what you want to do is go ahead and check your email. You can use your computer or you can go to a phone. I'm just going to go ahead and go to my phone here. I just received the email right here and it says Roku device activation link. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this right there. Give it one second here. All right. So now under device name, you can leave it the default Roku Premiere or you can always change it. And then under location, Go ahead and put wherever the uh, Roku device is. Mine's 
bedroom click on done gotta have to uh, check there click on continue they're asking you if you want to um, download other channels or apps you can click on OK if you want to look through them. If you want to skip it, you can just skip it. I already know what apps that I want. I can always download the apps like later on as well. And then here's some more channels or apps that you may like. You can add those at will if you wish. If you don't want any or whatnot, just click on Continue right here. And now that should be it. Now watch the TV behind me. Okay, so that's it here. I'm done with that. And now you can see I'm getting a channel update here. So let's wait till this is done. Okay, it's done now. You can go ahead and press it right. Now, here's the intro here, but you can always uh, skip this intro here. Just press the uh, home button. And there you go. We are in business. Any questions, issues, just comment below. All right, good luck.